summer glow up. It's me moving out of my dorm. Goodbye construction view. But hello, welcome to today's video. My name is Jala and I am currently an Australian living in China and welcome to a little reset wholesome vlog day with me. So I have today off work and I've already done a couple of errands. I had to go to the bank and get a new bank card, but that's really boring. No one wants to see that. And I've just had breakfast and done some washing, but I need to remake my bed, clean my room up a little bit. And then I really want to delve and do a major glow up planning reset afternoon. So you're going to come along for that with me. And I'm also going to the grocery store. But anyway, I'm going to stop yabbering on and let's just get straight into it. I also just remembered that I'm in a totally new location if you've watched my previous videos. Um, so I'm going to rewind a couple of weeks ago to when I was moving. And you can see that little process of me moving out of my dorm into this nice, lovely new apartment that I currently have. So I'm going to pop that footage in now because the footage is sort of sitting in an abyss of no other video because I totally got stressed and forgot to film anything else. So I'm going to pop that in now and then we're going to jump forward to today. Enjoy. Hello. <laughs> Hi. So I just found out that I, I have to move out of this room tomorrow and it is my watch is dead but it's like past 11 p.m at night and i have to pack up my life that goes in these two suitcases so come along with me on that journey i'm moving to a different apartment block that's like a 10 minute walk away um so yeah this is what we're currently working with like it's it's pretty good i've just got like makeup and a bit of rubbish there and a few things on my bedside table. And then, yeah, most stuff I've kept in here. Um, I've just got clothes in here that I'm going to have to pack. Like, this is the main packing just down here. And then I've got all this. I'm trying to stress eat all my food so I don't have to bring it with me. Lol. Anyways, we've got this, this. All this like I've got to somehow fit it all in because I've got extra stuff on top of what I came with because I've obviously lived here for like two months now so I've accumulated <laughs> you know so anyway let's start with uh, I don't know where to start maybe the bathroom let's start in here so I totally failed at packing because I just sort of got carried away and stressed and forgot to pick up the camera because it's been a little bit of a time crunch. Today is now the next day, it is now Saturday, but I'm all packed up and I'm about to go downstairs and call a Diddy to my new apartment. So I'll give you a little empty tour, I guess. So goodbye construction view. Um, this is all empty now. Got my suitcases up, the bed. Um, let me just triple check. I've got nothing. I couldn't even open these cupboards. No, this is all the stuff. And this is it. Bye. So I've just gotten to my new apartment. She's a city girl, city girl. Um, but anyways, I thought... Well, it's empty and there's no one here. I'll give you a little tour. So, dur, dur, dur. so there's this little entryway. And then we have a little kitchen. Which is honestly so slight. And there's a little table and chairs. A little living room. And balcony situation. And then there's also a washing machine, which is... A big plus if you live in a building in China. Um, most of them are just like shared. Those bedrooms. What's in here? Oh, that. I have my own. Ooh. So this is my room. I'm not going to show the other girls' rooms because honestly it's not important either. But, oops. 
this is my little slice of paradise. Oh, I don't have any bedside tables. Okay. And this is my own bathroom. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, and this is currently all my possessions. So let's do a little unpacking moment, shall we? And see how much I can get done tonight before I run out of steam. Let's go. glow up so I'm gonna go through all of that today and this one is probably more geared towards if you've done glow ups before and you just sort of want a little bit of a revamp a bit of a revival you're feeling a little bit stuck a little bit stagnant then this video might be for you so I am gonna go through first of all how you're gonna set your goals and how you're going to figure out what you want to be by the time summer rolls around and then we're going to go into planning phase and then I'm going to try and document every week or two my own journey to try and keep me motivated and it's also going to keep me accountable to keep my ish together. So the first thing that we're going to tackle is your mindset around this glow up. Now I recently have shifted my mindset and this I think is why I sort of have soft launched this glow up for myself a couple of weeks ago and it's really stuck and that for me is a big deal because usually I'll make all these plans and be like I want to totally change my life, I want to do X, Y, Z, I go down a deep rabbit hole on TikTok and then three days later I'm doing the same thing and nothing is changing and I've forgotten all about this new version of me that I was supposed to be trying to become. But this time instead of trying to be a new person and change everything about myself i am approaching it from the perspective and this is not my own idea i got this from another youtube video but it's becoming the favorite version of myself which i really love i think it's a lot more kind to yourself because i think wanting to change everything about yourself and it's just a negative way of talking about yourself like i like who I am and I don't want to change it I just want to add to it and build it build on it think of it as like a healthy relationship it shouldn't change you it shouldn't take away who you are what you like what your values are it should just simply add so that is the way I am approaching this summer glow up is we're calling it becoming our favorite version of ourselves summer edition so I've done a little vision board for what I want my favorite version of myself 
to sort of embody and be like. And I'm honestly obsessed with it. I made it my phone background. I'm going to pop a little picture in here, but I'll also upload it to my Pinterest. Sorry, if you want to download it and have it as your phone background, feel free. And if you want me to make it a Canva template or something, let me know and I can try and do that for you because I love vision boards. Like I literally think it's one of my hobbies, making vision boards and plans and I just love everything about it. So that is what I've done so far. And I've also done some planning on my little notes. But the first thing that you're going to do is figure out what is this favorite self? What is her, your version of that? Who are they? How do they act? What do they wear? Who do they surround themselves with? What kind of content do they consume? What are their daily habits? And I love a journal. So I journaled all of this down, but you can just think about it. You can Pinterest about it. Uh, there's heaps of journal prompts about becoming your highest self, all that sort of stuff. So it's quite easy to find and I will link some YouTube videos down below of more in-depth sort of videos that go into sort of changing your self-concept and your identity and all of that. But first of all, you're going to get clear on what kind of person you want to become because we've got three months. That's a decent amount of time to make a change. Then from there, obviously that person does things and acts a certain way and has certain habits, but you're not just going to create those overnight. This is going to be a process and a journey. And you need to have a map of how you're going to get from A to B. So this is where the planning phase comes in. Step number two is the game plan. I never actually finished explaining the glow up because my camera cut out halfway through me talking about it and I forgot to refilm it. So I'm going to make a whole separate video going fully in depth of how I'm planning this glow up and everything like that step by step. But this is just a good reminder to maybe start thinking about doing a glow up for summer if that's something that you're interested in. Anyway, back to the video. Sun is shining. Oh, there's a dog barking. I've got a comfy but cute outfit on. I'm feeling a little bit slay. And we're off to get some supplies. Who knows what I'm gonna buy? Maybe just some fresh fruit. I wanna try and buy some oats. Um maybe some like long life milk if they have it so that I can make like oats, but I don't have a microwave. I've got a kettle though. I'm going to give you a haul regardless because that's what I'm here for. So I did get two bottles of water and a little Coke No Sug for when I want one. I'm not a big like soft drink person at all, but just in case. Um, and then I got some honey. Um, I did get some straws. How cute. Mm. I'm probably going to have to eat these quite fast though, but that's okay. We love strawberries. I can put them on my oats. Now, this is where it gets a little crackly. And, and then I did get some oats. And I bought some bowls. Like, and then the lady at the checkout said I couldn't buy them. Because they went in the system or whatever. So, my idea of having oats with protein powder, boiled water, and strawberries and honey has gone out the window. Because I have no bowl. But that's okay. Then I got... Now, this is the junk, junk food section. So... Can I go through it real quick? Pringles, Snickers, some noodles, um, chocolate. Um, look what I found. I cannot express my excitement around that. Let's just not even go there because the excitement around the biscuit. Oh my god. And I got some hockey. Cute. Um, and I got one of these little. No idea what it is, coffee cake or something. Anyway, um, 
And then I did buy some like basics. So I got a chopping board so I can cut up my strawberries. Um, bin bags. I got some paper plates. Um, some adhesive hooks. I thought that they would come in handy. Um, I got a little soap tray. Soap tray. Um, a knife. A fork. And a little spoon. All in preparation for my oats that I can't eat. And then I did go to... They have a beauty supply store called Watson's. Which it's sort of like a price line, I guess you could say. And I did have some essentials because I love that sort of stuff. So I got a new... B5 La Roche Prose. Um, some more body moisturizer because the one I have at the moment is just not working for me, so I got this one. And then I did go a bit rogue and I bought a new deodorant, coconut deodorant, and a coconut body wash. Oh my god, I'm so excited about these. They smell divine. So, anyway, I'm gonna put all this away and then I'm FaceTiming my cousin, which I'm so excited about because I haven't spoken to them since I've gotten here, so that's about two months. Um, and we're just gonna have a lovely little chit chat. I might make a cuppa, so I can really, you know, enjoy the experience, so. Tanya cooked this beautiful meal yeah. for us all. Guys, I made a mistake. I left my gym session until night time. It is 7.54. I've had dinner. I had a delicious Thai dinner cooked by my friend Tanya. Um, and I'm gonna try and do my long run for the week, which at the moment is like 40 minutes. So I'm gonna try and do that. treadmill stopped with four it's just broken look we are not quitting now when I'm so close I'm just gonna switch to another one I'm not gonna finish it because I like the feeling when I finish it and I know I've done it properly so uh, let's go only 400 meters baby and there was a banger of a chain too I was getting really into it Oh well. Right, catch you when I'm done. Done. Five Ks in the bank. Nothing crazy, but to be honest, I don't think if I lived in Australia or wherever that I would ever do that. So I'm gonna go sit in the sauna for like 20 minutes and then get ready for dance rehearsals an active evening after planning on literally doing nothing so not mad about it It's just like not budging past this point. It's just stuck. It's so annoying. 